Dean Blanchard here with a video on Raboos. A Raboo target is a rabbit target that's thrown off a standard clay target machine. It can be as a trap shot going out, a crosser, they can curl them over. So basically it's a rabbit. The one I'm gonna, we're gonna break down today is a quartering target going out and down. So let's go take a look at that at the range. The target I showed you is a quartering bird going out and across. It's not showing a lot of face. So there's a couple of key factors with this. One with the Rabu, they have no dome and there's very little cup underneath. Where a standard target's got the nice dome and a cup. Why is that important? Because the flight characteristics of this bird and this one are different. So a rabbit target is a heavier that target than a standard target. And because it doesn't have any dome, what happens is when it, as it slows down, it starts dropping and it starts dropping faster than a standard target, which will float down more. Also, because you have very little face on the target and it's a rabbit, it takes more pellets to break it. With the standard target, we have this, little cup at the top. When you see this, pellets that hit through here have an easier time breaking it. It's a thinner material, it's easier to break. Rabbits are designed to be rolled on the ground. It's a much thicker uh, target, so it's harder to break. So my suggestion is to choke up. So if you're using skeet or IC to break a 25 or 30 yard target, with this target here, I uh, highly recommend going to mod or improve mod just to get those extra pellets on it because you're going to get pellets that are going to hit the target and deflect off. So you want to make sure you get solid hits and chips. All right. Now, because this target, as it starts slowing down, it starts dropping kind of quick. What I found is a the best technique for me is a swing through. Okay. So let's, let's back up a second. Let's break this down. So we have this target, comes out, goes across. So we're still using um, oval area for visual pickup point, where we're looking at for the bird. We want height and width. Next, we're gonna have a hold point. Where do we start seeing this bird come in more clearly? And then we have a break point. Where we see this target extremely well, feels slow, and it's easy to break for us. So we have this to do a, a swing through. We're still looking here. We're still holding here. We're just letting the target kind of just pass the gun. Now that the target's just past the gun, we're moving with it. We're going to sync up with it and then sweep in front of it. And it's not a fast, jerky move. We want a soft hands, controlled move, get in front. Now, if you'll notice, my imaginary gun here is under the target. This way we can see the target, how it's flying, it's dropping, and we can feel our way to get in front. With a pull away, I could break the target. I just couldn't be as consistent as a, a swing through. I couldn't see that drop. So sometimes I get in front and I'd shoot over the target. With a sustained lead, I kept having problems with I'm here and then the target was dropping faster than I thought. So I found that from standing on the station and shooting a box plus of shells, I was able to hit it more often with the swing through. Let's go.
the shot cam footage, I broke it down. I showed you one pull away. The rest were swing through. I had more hits that way. And you'll notice that as the target starts approaching the gun, the gun starts moving. So I'm just merging into traffic. I'm not going from a standstill. I'm going slow, cars are passing me, and then I'm moving over, just like the target. I'm starting to move. I'm not letting the target get 20 feet in front of me. It gets just in front of me. I sink with it, sweep in front, and pull the trigger. The rabbit tar rabu target is slowing down faster than a standard target. I don't want a whole lot of lead. It's starting to drop out and the flight seems to be inconsistent. Not everyone's flying exactly the same. So I need to be able to see that well. So coming from underneath and swinging through seems to be helping break more Rabus. Well, I hope this video helps. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Have a great day.